The title sponsor for today's Sport Unleash Schools, Schools Sports Award Ceremony, the chairman of Sport Unleash, former national athlete, Mr. Thalav Ali Lama, to address today's gathering. Honorable Minister of Education, uh, Susil Prema Jayanta, Member of Parliament and former Minister Iran Vikramaratna, members of the jury, the chairman of Sports Info, Tilan Rangana, distinguished guests, and our champion sportsmen and parents. Today is a very special day because for the very first time we are honoring the very best sportsmen of each sport which has never been done before. So today is a very special day identifying those sports, those great sportsmen and honoring them and we want to congratulate every one of you for an amazing 2022 season, for giving your best to your country and we look forward to performances which are going to be, will bring more glory or bring glory to our country. I'm challenging the sponsors to to grab these 15 sportsmen because for the very first time we have been able to identify talent at an early age or in school that have been time tested. They have competed with everyone, they have gone through the hardships, they have fought the battles and they have won and they have become the best of the best. They have 10 more years to develop and to grow. These children, these sportsmen are guaranteed to succeed. The next 10 years, they will succeed. And for the sponsors, I would like to encourage that this is a no-brainer. You invest in them, you will get a return for your brand. So you need to grab them, you need to get a hold of these kids and support them and stand with them. In the next 10 years, you're going to see amazing results from every single one of them. As a nation, we also have a challenge. And that is because 98% of our children are giving up sports by the age of 15. That means we are left with only 2% of children to represent the country, from whom we pick the pool to represent the country. Of course, by the time they are 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one twentieth, another twentieth remains, just one twentieth probably remain, who go on to national level. And that's the only pool we have to choose our national sides. Now this is a serious problem. 98% are giving up sport and we have 2% to work with. By the time they leave school, that is 1 20th of the number of sportsmen that we have to select our national sides. Now, some might say that it's because of the O-levels, that at age 15, they give up sports. But I don't believe that is so. You ask any national sportsman who represented the country 
whether they stop sports during the year of O levels. It never happens. When I was doing my maths paper for all of us the next day, I was telling my mother, Mom, I need to go to the grounds, the Torrington grounds, to throw the putt and the discus. Because I must keep practicing. But my all level maths paper was the following day. It was not going to stop me. So education, or the reason because you just want, you need to study for an exam, is definitely not a reason why people, why these 98% of children give up sport. Then some others would say, well, it's technology, you know, the, the, the new gaming, the games, the graphics, the computer games are so amazing that our children are being enticed that going out to train is not attractive anymore. That staying home is more fun. Maybe there are some. But I don't agree that that is the reason why 98% of children are not doing sports after the age of 15. The reason why children are giving up sports by the age of, nine, by the age of 15, 98% of them, is because they never, never discovered the sporting talent they have or the gift they have for a particular sport. They never discovered it. If you happen to be in a school that had the sport that you had a gift in, then I have talent. I was told of a story where Sangha was playing tennis. At age 17, he discovered that he is a cricketer. Because, of course, Trinity has cricket, and his talent was discovered. Murali was a fast bowler, became a spinner by age 17. The sport was there, track and field. I took the putt, I took the discus, I threw it. My school had that sport. My talent was discovered, and I say that I have talent for sports. But sports overall has been desi designed for movement, for humans to have fun, to, to be able to compete. But unfortunately, if the sport is not in your school, and you have the gift to do that sport, you come home after trying all the other sports, and you say, Mom, Dad, I tried out these sports. I went for sport practices. I don't seem to have talent for sports. Because the sport that I am good at is not available in my school. So children are giving up sport by the age of 15. So this is where Sport Unleash comes in. Sport Unleash is helping children by the age of 10 to discover their sporting talent. What sport they have gift in. So that you don't waste time trying different sports and hoping for the best, or limiting the child's ability to try out sports based on what the school has. So we identify the talent of the sport. So what we, the, the talent that the child has in sport. So what we do is we measure what the child, what's embedded in the child in regards to speed, power, explosiveness, endurance, and then we match it with the sport and the position that's demanding that mix of speed, power, endurance, power, uh, and explosiveness. When you match these two, 
when you match the muscle mix that the child has and what the child can give out, you match it with the sport that's demanding that mix. That's what you call talent. That's what you call, I'm gifted in a sport. When what the sport is demanding from me, I can give. And when I can give it, I enjoy it. And when I enjoy it, I become passionate. And no one can stop me from there on. So Sport Unleash, from the program, what we're looking at is to bring this match together, to match what the child has been born from birth to the demand of what the sports is expecting from you. And when this comes together, that's when we call it talent. So, Murli's son also was tested, Naren. When Naren was 10 years old, so he's Naren when he was 10 years old, and we tested him when he was 10 years old. And uh, this is, uh, the next slide is his report. And when he was 10 years old, we told that he's, he'll play cricket, middle order batsman. Of course, he can also do kar karate, boxing, and rowing. But this was the report that we had given, and I thought Murali will actually throw away this report. Because being the spinner he is, when he didn't appear that his son is a bowler, he would have thrown it away. But when he was 10 years old, this is what was identified for Murali's son. And this is what happened next, last week. That's Murali, one week ago, at 16 years old, playing against Anand for St. Joseph's, scored an unbeaten 131 runs in 171 balls as a batsman at 16 years old, first class cricket. And guess what? A middle order batsman. Six years before, we already identified him as a batsman and a middle order batsman. At number four, he scored, I think, 14 fours, one six to get this. So this is the level of the accuracy of the Sport Unleashed report. Honorable Minister of Sports, we at Sport Unleashed would like to offer the Sport Unleashed test to 500,000 children every year who are 10 years old, free of charge, to identify one sport at least for them. No cost to the school, no cost to the parents. We would like to test all the children in our schools so that when we test the children and when we have identified the sport for the child, at least one of the sports as an that the option they have, the basketball players that have been identified at 10 years old who are playing basketball were born to play basketball. And by the time they are 20 years old, they have skill level that is world class. The badminton players would be born to play badminton. The soccer players born to play soccer. And that's what Sport Unleashed does well in advance, before the child even holds a bat or knows to even bat, we are telling you're a cricketer. Before even holding a ball, we are saying you're a basketball player or, a, or you're a, a soccer player and the position you're playing. So this is where Sport Unleashed comes in. The 98% of children that are giving up sport and we are left with 2%. If we can make this 4% who continue after 15, if we can make it 5%, 10%, how much bigger will be the pool that the Sri Lanka teams will have 
to be able to build and to work with. And there is another big loss that that 98% children have. Research shows that the children who do sports after the age of 15 develop a certain leadership character that places them above everyone else to, to enjoy the best jobs in life. In the Forbes 500 companies that were test, the, the vice presidents were, a survey was done. The Forbes 500 uh, companies, the vice presidents, executive vice presidents were, a survey was done. And they found that 90% of those vice presidents had done sports throughout their time in school. That means it's only the 2% that are doing sports throughout their time in school. And that 2% are enjoying the best jobs once they leave school. Because there's a character development aspect that comes that only is learned on, in the grounds how to play as a team, how to strategize, how to plan for a goal and chase it down, multitask, be able to handle defeat with humility and victory. And take and understand how to succeed, that character is what sports can develop. And if we have 90% of our children giving up sport by age 15, then only 2%, out of the 2% is not only the national teams being created, but also the leaders, our corporate leaders, the character that needs for them to be, to be corporate leaders and leaders of the country only will come from those that small percentage. So Sport Unleash, its attempt is to make that 5%, make that 10%. An honorable minister, we can start at school level, begin the Sport Unleash program, because there is no weight, there is no cost involved. And if we can implement it just like we did for Naren, where we discovered him when he was 10 years old that he actually is a batsman and a middle order batsman, and proving it just last week at only age 16, only age 16, He's made this performance. We can do it with every single child in our country. With that, let me end my speech. Thank you, and thank you very much for all of you for coming. And once again, congratulations to all the champions here. God bless you.